Queen to d7. Queen to d7? Wait, Queen to d7. I'm. Am I seeing this right? Because he can go here and then pin this here. Like, still available, bro. Oh, no, bro. Yo, this is... Oh, wow. Wow. This... What? Look at this coordination. This is unbelievable. Wow. And he sees that. Yo. And the opponent lost on time. And I resigned. This guy has seen this work. Hello everyone, and today I'm gonna show one of the most insane games in this channel right now. This guy is 400, 400, this guy is 400 beating a 1200 player. Does he win or lose? He won in this game. So let me show you how. This guy beat a 1200 in literally 3 times in a row, and he beat me about 6 times in a row because I'm in, I'm at 700. Oh my goodness, pawn to e4, pawn to e5, I go knight. I mean, I mean, he he goes knight to f3, knight to f6, boom, 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 knight d5, and he have this pawn over here. Try to conquer the center. Wait, <coughs> I'm sorry. Also, just wait. Yesterday, I forgot to tell that. But anyways, he can take, maybe take, I don't know. But oh wait, he, anyways, he takes. Now he has this pawn in the center, which is very annoying. He has to move his knight away or something, or maybe he can take. He can, he can take, but he but the opponent will take. The pawn on e5 so take he can just take all oh, right because of this trade never mind ah uh, there there okay his bishop is now active his knight is now active his no his uh, the opponent's bishop is now active the opponent's knight is now active while he has two pieces active which of these two pieces wait which of these four pieces are very good these two pieces are literally so good right now uh they're about to they're about to punch you in the face or something anyways he takes he goes in queen to d7 queen to d7 wait queen to d7 i'm am i seeing this right because he can go here and then pin this here like boom wait is that what happened no he not that's not what happened wait why didn't he move his king away bro this is still available bro oh no bro yo this is oh wow wow this what look at this coordination here boom protects the bishop and if it goes here boom takes the bishop this is still protected he cannot take and now he can take the queen now it's literally four points of material wow ah uh, wow how can a 400 see this what and then bishop to e6 he goes devouring the pawn on uh i don't know what's that move he can take oh wait it's checked never mind <laughs> see the check and also i didn't hear the check what anyways he goes king to e7 i go bishop to a3 checking the king he goes king to d8 and i go queen to d i mean he goes queen to d3 trying to breach in here all of his pieces pieces are like are like you know are like i don't know us uh, they're literally very aggressive bro look and he has no queen he this is unbelievable wow and he sees that yo the next game the the opponent that lost, lost again. Keep in mind he's 1200 and his opponent is 400. Please keep in mind that. Or something. He might be a anonymous grandmaster or something or something. I don't know. I checked his profile and he played many unrated games. Let's check that later. Anyways, pawn to e4, pawn to e5. He goes d4 taking the full center here. The the opponent may, me. I mean, he can say... If he takes, he's gonna gain tempo over here, which he did. Oh, wow. Literally, I predicted that, but that is really... Wow. Okay, anyways. Queen to e3, he goes pawn to g6. The opponent goes c3. And literally, black, again, is winning. Because of... Uh, uh, wait. Because of what? b4? Bishop to b4. Bishop... Wait, no. Oh, uh, bishop to b4? Wait, where's the bishop to b4? Oh wait, here it is. Because of this. Yeah, why did I forget about that? Okay, I was trying to remember this and I forgot it in the interview. Anyways, wait, he didn't go here. Yo, this is literally a skewer for the queen and king, bro. Queen to f6, bishop to f4. Okay, look at this. These pieces are like, I don't know. And if it takes, he's gonna develop his knight. Unbelievable. Oh god, that is a mistake. Because he can take with a knight with development. Now he has two pieces in the board actively. Oh wait, no. This is what the opponent is doing. Never mind. Anyways, pawn to d6. Now it's balanced. Wait, it's better, kinda. 
Anyways, white goes to f3, black goes to g7, attacking the knight. He must defend that knight or else he's gonna double his pawn structure. Oh god, no. He blundered the, the pawn. Why didn't he go here? Ah, uh, it's not a blunder. Uh, I don't know why would he not go there. Except he blundered the pawn, the opponent. Okay, wait, why didn't he see that? Oh right, because of this fork. Oh, he did this because of this fork. Because if he were to wait, boom, 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 he could not wait. It's black's move. He could move here, but he will get taken. So, boom, boom. That's not possible. He will get taken. He must take, right? And then take. It will be equal at that point. No questions asked. And yeah, except what they did is boom, 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 boom. What the heck? Okay, what is bishop? Okay, that that is okay. Okay, he go. I he goes. Oh wait, no, never mind. For this, and he guards it with a king. Never mind. I my theory was wrong earlier. Never mind. Okay, knight to c3. He goes bishop to e6. White goes and takes the bishop, and now he recentered his pawn structure. Guys, don't 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 do this. Don't trade a piece to make his to repair his center. Why did he take? By the way, curious. I don't know. Wait. Hmm. Because there is no way to defend it, and to defend it with a knight, takes, takes, at least he has a knight on the board that is reactivating your knight. He can also go here, but that will damage his pawn structure, so I think he'd take. Okay, take. Okay, bishop to g5, king to c8, white castles. Oh, wow. Yo, literally walking the king to manually castle. Wow. Okay, trades, and he has more developed. He has development. This has more development because of this file right now. He goes pawn to e5, white. d7 with the knight. Pawn takes. Pawn takes again. Rook takes the pawn. Breaching in his territory. Oh, oh god. This is literally disrespectful. Manually castling just to... Wow. Anyways, he takes another pawn. Which he blundered. And literally white is winning right now. How can... White lose this. He's literally two twelve thousand. Is literally winning according to the elo bar. How would he lose this? He takes the knight, king to a eight. He stacks the rook. Now he's gonna make his rook. His rooks are more active now. Very powerful rooks. And then he uh, he goes knight to e four. Which, if he goes here, yeah, he can yeah, do yeah, this, yeah. but that will not be possible because he will take with the rook, the white pieces, you know. Anyways, knight to g5, attacking the pawn, also defending the knight. Wow. Okay, he attacks the knight, undefends the knight. Oh, wow. Danger levels. A 400 knows danger levels. Wow. Uh, he can take, but he will take his rook. And then take. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. He can just take. He can just take. And then if this happens, he has six points more. Although, this is not possible because of the knight and rook. So, I think he's fine, right? He can next, he can attack here. Yeah. Anyways, he didn't do that, except he did is... Rook to e5, which attacks the knight more. Uh, listen, I don't know what the heck these opponents are doing. Like I said earlier, he would gain more points if he were to, to sacrifice his knight or something. Wait. Yeah, or something. Anyways, rook to f5, pawn to g4, takes the pawn, knight to h3, attacking the rook, takes the knight, which white blundered, white... Why did why white blunder? Yo, he's 1200. He should know this. Anyways, pawn takes pawn. Knight takes pawn. Rook attacks the knight. Knight goes to f7. A, that's fine. It's protected by the rook. Now he has to defend, to defend his rook. I mean, defend his knight twice in order to... Uh, I don't know, because maybe he cannot escape. Oh, wait. He can escape here. I... Yeah. Knight goes to h6, escaping the knight. Rook goes to h5, attacking the knight. He, ah, uh, wow. Offers a trade. Takes, takes. 
And then if here, just take. Wow, or take over here, offering a trade. Wait, what? Okay, there, there, there. Takes, and then boom, check. I don't know, he wants a trade or something. Um, Lowering the possibilities of being checkmated. Now, this was, this was plus five for the opponent that did not beat me six times in a row. He has zero points. Look at this. It turned to plus two points at him. And then seven... Oh wait, never mind. It's just a trade. Anyways, king to a7. He goes pawn to b3. I mean, the white pieces go pawn to b3. I, I think I, hallucinating or something. Anyways, rook to h5. Pawn to a4. He goes rook to g5. The king goes to h1. He goes knight to d4. Look at these pieces literally being a boss right now. Wow. Anyways, attacks the knight. Pawn attacks the knight. Rook goes to f5, making maybe a check. He takes, takes, and the opponent lost on time. And uh, and the guy that beat me six times in a row right now, I mean yesterday, is 12 seconds. Wow. Okay. Another game is this game. Okay. Uh, e4 d5 takes scandinavian defense develops both knights this guy is just pushing a pawn or something i don't know bro okay pawn to d4 knight to c6 bishop to b5 pinning the knight again to the king he could go bishop to d7 here and he attacks the bishop yo what is happening to 1200 he can just take take and he would double his pawn structure Okay, this is just bad. Anyways, pawn to c5, p bishop to c5, attacking this pawn right here. Boom! Uh, yeah. If he takes, he would not have the ability to castle now, which is really good for the advantage of white, since the development of rooks are literally needing for development, although he just can develop early. He checks, he blocks with the bishop. Oh, that's not good. Blocking with a bishop is not really good because if you block with a bishop, it's gonna get pinned and you don't want to pin yourself because this is now a weakness. And also, yeah. Anyways, knight to e5. This knight is gonna fork here. He's gonna fork. What do you usually do when you're going to predict a fork? You're going to defend it. Or defend it with a bishop. No, he cannot because of pin. You need to defend it, bro. Or with a knight. Knight is better. Or king is better. I don't know. That unpins the king or something. What did he do? What the heck? He goes knight to f6. Blundering the... What? Wait, did he do that? He sees it. Takes the rook. Boom. Now he has m 3 points more than the opponent. And takes the knight, trades off every piece possible so that he has more pieces at the end game than his. And making it more simple would be better because, you know, I don't know, because it would make your life easy or something. Anyways, bishop to a4, attacking the rook. He goes and blocks the bishop. He goes bishop back to d7, goes pawn to c4 with white. As you can see here, white is literally winning. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, bl Black goes g4, one, a one mover of attacking the rook again. He can just block, so that's nothing. Okay, he takes the pawn that Black blundered and then trades again. And now it's very simple. He has 5 points now from 3 points to 5 points. Now he's literally better. He goes bishop to d7 again. Oh wait, how did this, how many times did this bishop go to d7? First he got pinned, and then I think the second time. Okay, anyways, rook to d5. Pawn to h4, pawn to c5, king to e8, boom, 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 boom. Oh wow, lost on time again. And look at this, 1 minute and 47 seconds. What? This guy literally beated a 1200 in one, with 1 minute and 47 seconds. Wow. Okay, the next game is me versus him, which literally, he crushed me. Anyways, 
this goes here here and now i have more development on him okay how can this go bad and so he has more points wait no it's balanced actually he goes and pins me like the other guy what what did he, he did to uh, the other game bro why didn't he take though if he takes it's gonna double my pawn structure okay never mind uh that's worse because you know or something i think it's not worse because of this file on b the fi b file anyways bishop to g4 these bishops are literally pin masters right now this is very funny this is a meme actually anyways knight to d4 attacking my queen what did i do i moved my k queen yeah i escaped my queen because that is an option when your queen is attacked i don't know just don't plunder your queen anyways Wow, why did I see that fork? Now, I blundered a fork to the queen and the king. And I resigned. This guy has seen this fork as of 100, actually. 100 in a 10-minute game. We're playing a 10-minute game, actually. This is 100. Should be 100. So let us see the games. He played with me. He played with me six times. And literally every game, I lost. I lost. Look. And literally look, look at the freaking accuracy, 98.9, and he's not cheating. I swear, I swear to God, he's not cheating, he's 98.9, he is almost to 99.9 accuracy. So this guy is 100 in 10 minutes, and he has 98.9? What? This is going to be great content, and also, yeah, anyways. And this other guy that he beat, also, he beat him about four times in a row. Bro, 400 versus 1200, a 400 beats a 1200 six times in a row. I mean, four times in a row. And also, it says here, he's 100, not uh, 400. Bro, is chess.com lagging at this? Lagging, lagging at the ELO something? I am something anyways i think that's it wow i literally um uh, thank him for the stream because if without him this content wouldn't be possible anyways see you guys in the next video this is the last game by the way what the one i showed you maybe a part two of this is coming if i played with him tomorrow anyways see you guys in the next video bye